Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I am here in a bit of a breezy Blackpool. I'm actually up here, North Shore, just across the road from the Sheraton Hotel and the Doric Hotel. We've just got a tram pulled in there now. And it's actually been a long time since I've been up this way, and I've actually come up here for the sunset, but unfortunately, it well, it, it doesn't look too great out there. I'll just turn the camera around and show you. Okay, so this is where I am. Just by the cabin lift here. In fact, when I rolled up here, there was a couple there smoking, and I'm sure they were smoking weed because it was <laughs> good smelly for fun. Anyway, they've gone now. Just down there, can you see the Blackpool Tower? By the way, this camera I'm using is a bit different. Uh, it's a it's a, I've got a new camera, well, it's not a new camera, it's, it's actually quite an old camera, but I'm just giving it a go in this video and we'll see how it, how it looks. Let me know what you think. Just down here, of course, we've got the go-kart track, which used to be the bolting pool. Check it out, look at this. Now, according to my watch, it's quarter past nine and the sun sets in about 20 minutes, but as you can see over there, well, you know what? It looks pretty spectacular if you ask me, but I don't think we're going to get to see the sunset, I'm afraid. But check it out, look how high up we are here, look at these cliffs here. Yeah, so here we are, I can see the arch up there. You know the uh, the illuminated arch that they have at the end of the illuminations at either end? I can see it lit up up there. That's just by Red Bank Road, it's miles away. You know Blackpool is absolutely, it's massive when you think about it. Blackpool itself goes all the way from, I would say about, about a mile north of the Norbrecht Castle, because there, when you go a mile north of the Norbrecht Castle, you get into Cleveland and then you're into a different borough then. But it goes all the way from there, and, I mean, how far is it to, to uh, Stargate from here? I don't know, but it is one huge, long promenade, and it is north and south as well. And that's the thing you said, we're on the west coast, and this promenade here is almost dead straight north and south. And if I turn the camera around again now, hopefully, let me know what you think of this camera, by the way, because uh, it's, uh, this, this camera is a little bit different. It's a Sony. FDR X3000 and I'm just giving it a little try out in this video. I thought I'd bring you up here to show you around and uh, let me know what you think. How does it look? So as you can see the tower's down there, it's lighting up. It might look a bit far away because this is an ultra wide angle lens on this camera. Here's a look at the cabin lift. Of course this has been shut down for a long time. Uh, can we see inside the letterbox? Oh, they got a letterbox, look. Can you see anything in there? Can I get this camera through there, look? <laughs> I can't see anything in there. I might try and have a look in there. But if you look down this way, I mean, look at that view, come on. I don't think we're gonna get a sunset, but you cannot beat that view. And I'm just gonna say it again now because I do say it quite a lot, but wouldn't you love to be here in Blackpool right now? Let's just look at this view of the tides in. Looks a little bit choppy, I have to say. It is a bit breezy. Yeah, but just look at this view. Still three weeks to go till the solstice. Okay, folks, check this out. This is Liz from Scotland, Hamilton, yep. and you've just seen me, you were in the Sheraton Sher Hotel just over the road, and she spotted me out the window and she said to your husband, what did you say? Partner. Is that that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I put that in? Stephen, yeah. I'm gonna put that in, come on. And she said, is that Stephen from YouTube? I'm gonna go and see him, didn't you? Yep. And there you go. Yep. So it's not the first time, by the way, I've been stood out here and someone has come out of a hotel to see me because it does happen quite a lot. I'm getting stopped all the time. <laughs> but anyway, how long are you here for? I'm here till Friday, Stephen. And you come quite a lot, don't you? Yeah. Come to Twice Blackpool. A year. There you go, the Scots, they Fantastic. love Blackpool. There you go. And I've just been saying about these views here 
and you get some cracking views from the Sheraton there. You just look out the window and you get to see this view behind us. So there you go. We are first floor front room. <laughs> and there you go. So I hope you have a great stay here yep. in Blackpool. That was Liz from Hamilton. Bye. So there you go. Hi to Liz if you're watching. I'm sure she'll be watching with a partner. I said her husband, didn't I? <laughs> That's Mark Kelly's show, but just over there, that's pretty quiet, doesn't it? But I tell you what, it's going to be rocking out there soon. You know when they got the football on? Because it's a fan zone for the Euros. Yeah, they're going to be watching the, uh, the European football in there soon. That'll be kicking off soon, won't it? Sort of a couple of weeks away. Now, there's a Dorico. Oh, I just want to show you something down here. Just look at this view down here. Down this road here at the side of the Doric, it's called Knoll Avenue. And uh, the reason why it's called Noel Avenue is because it leads towards Noel Hill. And you see that view down there, look, can you see the water tower? So the water tower is on the top of Noel Hill. So there you go, that's why that road there is called Noel Avenue. There you go. John's looking pretty empty. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to head down. I'm going to head down to the water level. I'll tell you what, it's quite a long way down. Yeah, it is. So I'm just going down here now. Down all these. I don't know when all this was done, by the way. I would probably say it was probably done <coughs> around the turn of the century or something like that, maybe. Back end of the, uh, the 19th century. Check out these sea pinks here, look. All these grow naturally round here. Look at that, that lot. It's amazing what grows naturally, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I can hear this sea. Look at this. Look. Mind you, we also get, obviously, evidence of beer monsters. I've, I've just, I had uh, people smoking weed before. We've got bear monsters. So, we get it all, don't we, here in Blackpool. It's a bit breezy. It's, uh, you know, we're in the 2nd of June as I'm filming this now. It's a Sunday evening. And um, it has got a bit cool. It's been a really, really nice day today, actually. But it has gone a little bit cool now. But the weather this weekend has been pretty good. Well, this is a bit different, isn't it? I'm now coming down here. Look at all these people fishing, look. Check it out. Oh, look at that. Now then, let's have a look at this, shall we? I don't think I've been down here before on the channel. We're getting a look at this uh, go-kart circuit. Uh, that's a pretty big circuit, that, isn't it? And that used to be, obviously, the boating pool. I can't remember it ever being a boating pool, but as we look this way, just look at that there, look. Look at that construction there. I want to have a look at the doorway down here. You know the doorway that comes from the cabin lift? Because I don't think I've really seen it up close before. Yeah, so it's a bit less breezy down here at uh, <coughs> sea level. So I'm just going to check out this doorway now. I've never, well, I must have come past here, but I've never actually stopped and, and looked properly at this lift from down here. Check it out as I turn the camera around. Look at that. Wowzers. And this is the doorway here at the bottom. Yeah, they haven't got a letterbox in here though. Maybe we could get a look through the keyhole if I had a smaller camera. But yeah, this is how it looks. At the bottom of the uh, the cabin lift. There you go. How about that, eh? Right. I want to have a little look at the sea now. A close up of the sea because the tide is right in at the moment. So uh, I think we've got a pretty high tide as well. That's why we've got all these sea fishermen out. So let's uh, take a close look at the sea, shall we? So here we are at the other side of the go-kart track. We can see the tower again, changing colour. Got a bit of a security barrier here. Look at that, but check this out over here. Look at this. 
It looks a little bit choppy out there. We're pretty much right on sunset now. But uh, looking over there, yeah, we're not gonna get a sunset, are we? But uh, it's still a nice view though. Now, if I'm gonna head back up again, I can go back up the way I came down, or I could head up this way here. <laughs> it's a pretty long walk. Look at that there. Wow. I've got to head all the way up there. It is pretty popular sea fishing, isn't it? Maybe I should have a go myself, what do you think? Anyway, I'm just heading up here now. Look at this, look. Wow. It's a long way up. You know, when you think of Blackpool, you don't really think of like wildflowers, do you? But there are plenty of daisy type flowers along here. Sea pinks, of course. All growing naturally. I'm almost at the top. But look at this up here, it's amazing, isn't it? We've got these massive lawns here and it's up and down, up and down the promenade. You can ride your bike, look at that. We've got these shelters there, look. Beer monster shelters, look. Is it beer? Yes. Well, I don't think you get too many beer monsters in these shelters. At least I hope not, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> Beer monsters everywhere around here. Look at that. Night side at 8.4%. Wow. Oh. And here's me saying that uh, they probably won't get beer monsters up here, but they do. This look, look, there's a can down here. Look. What's that one? Black Storm, 7.5%. The beer monsters. They're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, so right where I am now is pretty much where they'd have all the illuminations. They'd have all the illuminations here. You see these things here, I think that these are, I think they're like vents or something for the sewers, the sewers down here or something. But yeah, this is where they have all the, the, the big hoardings. You know, the illuminations, the big placard things, tableaus, whatever you want to call them. I tell you what, it won't be long before they're putting them back up again. Check out these daisies that grow along the uh, the side of the tram tracks. I could just do with digging some of them up and uh, shoving them in the garden, actually. But I bet they take over though, because they're all over the place around here. Yeah. What do you think? I better get off the tram tracks. I don't want to do an Alan Bradley. Okay, I'm just heading back to where I started, back up at the uh, cabin lift again, and uh, yeah, no sunset, I'm afraid. I think the sun set at 25 to 10. Now, because we're still about three weeks or so away from the solstice, it's going to get quite a bit later. So if you come into Blackpool around the solstice, the sun will not set until almost 10 o'clock. Can you believe that? 10 o'clock, that's going to be pretty awesome, isn't it? But uh, it does look pretty good out there though, even though there wasn't a sunset. You can't beat the views from Blackpool. Well, it's lighting up town now here in Blackpool. We've got the Genting Club behind me, the Genting Casino. I remember when that was the Castle Casino, because it does look a bit like a castle, doesn't it? Yeah. I bet it's proper swanky in there. I've been there, I've, I've actually been in there, but it was a long, long time ago. But I did go in the, the one at the Sandcastle, the Grosvenor. I went in there not too long ago and it's proper swank in there, yes. Yeah, it does look pretty epic out there. And you can hear this, the sound of those waves sounds absolutely awesome. Nice breeze as well, not, 
not uh, not not warm not but, but not like freezing cold like it would be if it was in the middle of winter but anyway that's it for this video uh, let me know what you think by the way of this uh, this camera i'm using because i'm just testing it out on this video tonight and uh, there you go uh, i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one